In accordance with the quest of the industrial world rationalization on sporting and procurances, large ships have been developed early in bulk carriers, crude oil tankers. In particular, the cost of rotation per voyage has been because wide, very large ships are placed in commission. Then the rid of the stern shing at energy conservation has improvement of propulsive efficiency, meaning the maximum speed increase, same output power. On the these very large ships have still more wide their maneuvering sticks, with turning ability, but poor keeping ability. Maneuvering very ships as tip by VLC. Ship op are particularly to grasp exact maneuverability of ships, and establish maneuvering eeks more than ever, including speed control. To attain challenges, let us consider to deal with the ability of large ships. Gunning ability, course keeping ability, and good initial turning or course change are required ship maneuverability. But turning ability, course keeping ability are countervailing nature. Turning ability is caused by the radial rate of turn on the orbital most steady turning phase, the being normalized by length, and the latter by turning speed and or ship. Initial turning and or course changing ability, here and after called initial turning ability, is defined by the change of heading response to a rudder deflection and the yaw damping response when the rudder is deflected to midship. In other words, this ability indicates whether steerability is favorable or not. The course keeping ability is the ability to maintain a straight path with the rudder held midship without applying any counter rudder. The parameter of block coefficient C is used for comparing fat ships and fine ships. Fine ships with small block coefficient, such as container ships, constitute chaotic features good in earning and keeping ability, but turning. On the other fat with large coefficients, such as tan bulk, it chaotic features to turning, but for it turning course keeping. First, consider when the rudder is deflected and held at a fixed angle, the turning path of the ship's center of gravity is called the turning circle. The advance is the distance of the ship's center of gravity along the original approach course from the start point of rudder deflection to the point where the ship has turned 90 degrees. The transfer is the distance from the original approach course to the ship's center of gravity when it has turned 90 degrees. The maximum advance is the maximum distance of the ship's center of gravity along the original approach course when the ship has turned a little more than 90 degrees. The tactical diameter is the distance from the course to the ship's center of gravity when it has turned 90 degrees. Maximum is the maximum to the ship's gravity from the approach. And the final di is the diameter of the ship's drake settled down to the turning motion. The is the distance along the approach course from the of rudder deflection to of final diameter. Immediately after the completion of rudder deflection, the ship's center of gravity and aft terminal are kicked out. The kicked out amount on the center of gravity is about 1% of the ship length, but that amount on the aft terminal occasionally reaches more than 15% of the ship's length. The tactical d TD, a water area unaffected water depth, and in the figures, minimum 35 at an angle. A fat ship, such as a tank, is approximately th lengths, and a fine ship, such as a speed freighter, approximately 4 lengths. Let us examine the end of water depth on the turning circle, examples of a 200,000 dead weight ton in full load condition. When turning in water area, the mass advance increases approximately 1.4 and the tactical die up to 1.3 times as compared to the deep water respectively. 
Sufficient care taken for the above when navigating in extra straits such as Lacker Strait. Let in the turkey of an 80,000 ton tanker in ballast in full load condition. When in full load condition, the maximum advance in approximately up to 1.5 times and the tactics up to 1 times as compared turning in ballast condition. VLCs and bulk carry drawn attention for the chain turning circles may extremely change their such as draft them dependent on foot or ballast condition. When a run reflected while advancing on a straight path, the ship begins to slowly at first, then in its turning rate gra and finally turnedly with constant turning speed and rate. At steady turning for relation between angle and the turning rate, best as shown in the coefficient K called the turnix gain. And the time needed for rate to develop 83% e turning rate is expressed as T is called initial turning index time Ship A and ship D believe that both coordinability and initial ability, good or poor, and ships belonging to the above are very scarce. She had initial turning ability, poor course changing ability. Fine ships of high speed freighters and container ships belong to the pattern. Ship C has poor initial turning ability, but good course changing ability. Fat ships, such as VLCCs, belong to the pattern. The contrary large ship will become difficult when rate has been fully to a large amount of flexion. It is important to control the rate appropriately by putting over bit by bit. There is an example of an indication rate control where the turning rate should be controlled within degrees per minute for degrees rudder deflection. Controlled within degrees per minute for 20 degree deflection. Let us consider a case where a ship is changing its course. Due to the turning lag, it is unable to bring the ship on the intended course-changing path if the rudder is put over when the ship has reached the course-changing point. When changing course, the rudder should be put over before reaching the course-changing point, taking the turning lag into account. The course-changing distance is the distance along the original approach course from the start position of rudder deflection to the course changing point. The relation between the course changing distance and the course changing angle expressed as shown. Ship opera required to acknowledge the use of turning ability of own ships, such as reach, the amount on the stern, and the course changing distance. The following simulated cases when tool load 208 dead weight ton tank are meeting on reciprocities. In spite of each taking collision avoidance action by hard over helm to starboard, was resulting in contact with each stern. Yes, each has the initial evasion at each to bridge distance approximately 0 0.8 nautical mile. Within that a ship is a berth with a deeming maneuver, the diag bead and distance run in the graph after the engine stopped when the ship six knots. Approximate distance run until it is reduced to 2.5 after the main engines can be obtained diagram because the ship of 2.5 knots ons with the critical speed which the rudder effect nearly lost. The time elapsed for spiction is also shown as a fine displaced weight and distance. When approaching a berth sieves, an order for full and is recopping the ship. During the, the discharge flow of the propeller from the lower part impinges strongly on the plating of the side to move the stern to port. Eventually, the head turns to stern and it will become harder to kill control. In accordance with the standards for management system's MS, precautions are decelerating approaching a berth harbor or edge outside.
the ship's speed reduced gradually, suited to the remaining distance. They did not overrun the place, and the ship should to stop with the control being kept stable. Taking this into consideration, speed reduction scheme for CCs on maneuvers are shown on the graph. In approach maneuvers, it is able to maneuver the ship with speed range or recommendable. In the graph, the function of headway and directional control are certain to be possible. Ship navigators have never experienced handling of very loops are requested to end the maneuverability of their own ships. The motion of very ships cannot hold only by the conventional ability of ship handling. Therefore, such ship handling directional is advisable using verifiable data for maneuvering, indication of a yaw rate. Recently built very large ship characterized by turning ability, extreme course keep and initial turning ability. It is to be hoped that keep safe ship mind first being the above maneuvering characteristics. Such as represented by a car carrier or a car ferry, characterized as a strip form with high board, having a fringe area of the harbor structure upper as compared to that underwater hull. Due to the above, the wind great influence on the hull and the wave from the bow so met on the large of the bow. Particularly when a typhoon or a developed low pressure is approaching, their case of unmaneuverability due to the being buffeted by winds and waves, the degradation of rudder effectiveness by heavy rolling and pitching, and speed reduction by propellant that may cause of main engine control. Besides, incidents in anchor due to winds often take place anchoring. For it is important ship handling of seas to wind effects stand the maneuver limits they impose. To many cars as pop, the PC signed as a rectangle hull structure, high freeboard, an enormous aerial and superstructure as compared to that of underwater. The small form of seas is quite different for tankers and canips. PCC is susceptible to wrecks at any time, loaded or balladen. Let us start with the area that is susceptible to wind effect. The wind affected varies with the chain aft. The print of above water on midshipmen of the full sized P in recent years. Ranging approximately 950 square meters to 1,000 square meters, that on lateral plane of from 5,000 square meters to 200 square meters. Let's go show of the projection of above water to that of underwater by ship type. Three model ships loaded condition ed, with the ratio of the projection of above to AA to underwater port W and of side projection water portion BA of underwater portion W. The wind effect on the PCC 1.2 times front view and one times on the side effectively as that on a container ship. In known from the table effect on the PC about 2 point sims on the front view 2.6 times on the side effectively as that on a tank so the PC is highly susceptible to the wind. Next, front wind force that has great influence on the maneuver of the PCC. The wind force acting on each portion of the hull differs according to the shape of the hull and the wind direction. However, ship operators on the bridge D 